All right, well, we're talking about living your best life with just five minutes a day. Yeah, that's the idea behind the book, How to Be a Better Person. It offers more than 400 ways to make a difference in yourself and the world. Yeah, Kate Hanley is the author and host of the How to Be a Better Person podcast, and she joins us now with some of her tips on being a better person, which I think sounds pretty good. Kate, nice to see you. Hi, it's so nice to be here. Well, so let me ask you first, why does a person feel better when they're, when they're just being good? Well, you know, I think we all have this natural desire to feel like a decent human being, but sometimes we're not really aware of that desire until we've done something that makes us wonder, oh my gosh, am I a good person? Maybe I'm not. And that doesn't feel good. Plus, we all have this innate goodness. So when we can bring that to the top, it's just a natural expression of who we are at our core, and that feels great. So if we're not feeling so, so much of a good person, you say you have some tips on how to be a better person. What's your first one? Okay, my first one is to respond instead of react. So when you're reacting to something, you are probably acting out of stress or fear. You're probably lashing out, trying to protect yourself. It's understandable, but it's also likely to result in something that makes you feel later. You have one of those moments where you're like, oh gosh, am I a bad person? <laughs> So instead of reacting, you wanna respond. And if you're responding, that means that you have taken a moment to be thoughtful. It doesn't mean you have to go off and spend a couple hours thinking things over a couple of days. It can be as simple as taking a breath, like really thinking to yourself, I'm just gonna take a breath here before I say anything, and that's gonna help you come from a better place. It's good, we want a lot of people to do that, right? Every once in a while. Well, next you say, uh, <laughs> refuse to complain. So how, how do you do that? Cause that can be a tougher one. I know, listen, I'm not trying to say that you can never talk about stuff that's driving you crazy again. However, I am saying that there's a difference between complaining and venting. So complaining is like blaming somebody else. Maybe you're gossiping about somebody who did something that you didn't like. You know, it goes in circles, it doesn't go anywhere, it's not constructive. Venting, on the other hand, is about trying to get something off your chest, get it out of your head so that it's not gonna bother you anymore. And you're trying to get some objectivity on it so that you can respond, right, instead of react. And um, where complaining will kind of just go in circles, venting is about a way forward. Right, like finding a resolution. So mm -hmm. a lot of people strive for perfection, but you say just go for good enough. Yes, please. I mean, listen, I wrote a book called How to Be a Better Person. I have a podcast about being a better person. You notice that I don't say be a perfect person or even a good person. Good enough is lets you get out of this trap of feeling like you have to nail it. Because if you constantly feel like you have to nail it, well, guess what? That's impossible. You're not going to do it. You're going to get worn out. You're going to get, you know, dejected. You're going to be like, what is even the point? So... When you go for good enough, you know, you remember, you don't have to knock anybody's socks off. You just have to show up, stay open, and do your best. It lets you be playful. It helps you remember that anything you don't do as well as, wish, as you wish you did, you can learn from or laugh at, and hopefully both. I love that. So real quick before I let you go, are there some muscles to rebuild in all this? Yes, you need to rebuild your begin again muscles because look, it's hard to create any kind of new habit or do anything with consistency, right? I mean, there's a whole self-help genre that's trying to help us make permanent changes and it's not easy. So when you get off track, all you have to remember to do is just to start again. And something that teaches us this so well is meditation. You may try and meditate for 60 seconds and have to start focusing on your breath again a hundred times. And that's okay, because if you can do it when you're meditating, mm -hmm. you can do it when you're out on the street. Okay, quickly, we want to get to this question. You say there's something that's hard for New Yorkers to do. Yes, okay, so I have a couple of tips that I call quick hits, because they're so fast and they have a big impact in how you feel. And I want to challenge New Yorkers out there to let somebody else go first whether you're getting on the elevator or getting a cab and getting off the subway, it just gets you out of that me first mentality that the city kind of rams into your head, you know, and helps you do something that's nice for somebody else, might mm -hmm. even make their day. And it really makes you feel like I'm acting on this desire to be good. I love it. Kate, thank you so much. Well, take Thanks some time to me. think about some of those. Gotta jot them down so we wanna <laughs> be better. It doesn't have to be good, be better. Nice to see you, thank right. you.